right here, the Mini Max NT heater, and you have an EO2 error, probably the temp sensor. I'll show you how to change the temp sensor in your Pentair Mini Max NT. And it's a very common failure in the Pentair Mini Max. I think this one is going to be going on its third temp sensor. It's about 10 years old. The first thing you want to do is turn the power off on the heater. There's a button right here. It's a black button underneath there. Just flip that. And the screen should go blank like that. Let's go ahead and get the temp sensor out. Okay, so for this job, you need a wrench, a screwdriver, and the new temp sensor that you're going to install. And each one, each heater has a slightly different temp sensor. The temp sensor is located in this panel here where the heater flow is at. And you just take the two screws out and it pulls right up and out. And you'll see the yellow wire here. And you'll see the where it threads in to the heater itself. And that's where the temp sensor goes. Okay, and you'll see where the temp sensor actually goes. It plugs into the heater right here and the, into the circuit board in this location. You just pull that out. It's like a little white clip. And you'll see it's marked temp sensor. You can actually read it in there. It's called T probe, which is the temp sensor probe. And so we'll go ahead and pull the old one through. Get that one out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it with the wrench here. You want to unscrew the temp sensor. Should come off pretty easily. Okay, you have the air there. And here's a new one. You can see a big difference in the sensor. They get old over time and they wear out. Put that in hand tight. I'm going to go ahead and use a wrench to tighten it up some more. Until it stops. There we go. Shouldn't leak any water or anything like that. Okay, and I'm just going to move this wire through the heater. It goes right through that hole there. See it right there. It goes in one direction. It'll go in like this. It should slide right in. And there it is, a new temp sensor is installed. Put this panel back on. And you screw it down and I'll press the heater. Everything works. I'm going to turn it back on here. Now let me get the pool on. I'll put it in spa mode. Test it. Spa is set for 100. Okay, it turns it on. Let's see if it fires up. Should do a, you should see the thermostat light up in a second once the heater comes online. Sometimes when a temp sensor fails, you have the pressure and the thermostat, and it'll just sit there like that for about 10 minutes with nothing happening. And then you have the error code, and then it's going to go pressure, thermostat, and the heater should come on fire up any second now. There we go, you hear the click. Let the green light on the heater come on. You hear it igniting. You feel the hot air coming out of here. Be really careful. Get really hot. And that's how you change the temp sensor in a Minimax NT heater. It's pretty simple.